Hey guys, so today I got another helicopter here. I've been waiting for this forever. Uh, it was sold out online, sold out in hobby stores, everywhere it's been sold out and it's still hard to find. But I found this in the Woodstock actually hardware uh, hobby store and we got it right here. So let's go ahead and unbox it. It's the E-Flight Blade SR. Now this is similar in some ways to the E-Flight Blade MSR, but the, there's a couple big differences. And the main difference is the Blade MSR was a fixed pitch micro helicopter. And this is a collective pitch. Uh, it's also kind of called a micro, but it's a little larger. And there's a couple differences in the head design. It's a collective pitch instead of a fixed pitch. Now I'm not going to get really into detail right now about the differences in the two, but look that up online. Fixed pitch is more for a beginner kind of. Although the, this uh, collective pitch is very stable and also good for kind of a beginner, but you kind of want to know what you're doing a little bit. You should have some simulator time. But this is a collective pitch helicopter. It's, I wonder if I have my Blade CP in here. I don't think I do. It's, it, it's about the size of a Blade CP, but a little bit smaller, just a little tiny bit smaller rotor blades. Looks very nice. It comes with a, uh, AR6100E Spectrum Receiver and that connects to the 2.4 gigahertz transmitter you have here. Now the transmitter you can use this and I, I'm actually not going to use this um, because I have the DX6i I'm going to put this on the ground and the DX7 Special Edition now either of these controllers will bind to your helicopter, but this helicopter does come with the controller with it, or the transmitter, and it's a 2.4 gigahertz. So if you don't have a DX6i or a DX7, you can bind, you can fly this with the ready to fly remote, of course, it comes in the ready to fly package, but like I said, if you do have a DX6i or DX7, you can use one of those transmitters as well. It has an AR6100E receiver in it. Now what comes in the box, I've taken out the helicopter already and the transmitter. Then the rest of the parts in the box is your charger. Now your charger comes with an AC plug, so it's an AC slash DC charger and it is a 0.8 amp charger. So it's going to charge at 0.8 amps. Now your battery, which comes in it, is a three cell 11.1 volt lipo battery and it's 1000 mAh so it could be charged at 1C at the highest the charger is a 0.8 amp so it's a little bit lower than you could charge this battery at but it's just a perfect charger for it make sure it's safe and that's your battery 1000 mAh and then other than those couple items in the box all you have is back and thing is over behind you all you have is your transmitter batteries, just four double A's. And then you have a couple little uh, tools in here. Just uh, just an Allen wrench, some zip ties, you know, a bind plug, and uh, some Velcro strips that you can apply to your battery. So really just a couple extra little parts to fix up your helicopter to work correctly. And uh, that's it. So. We're going to get this out hopefully tomorrow and get a little bit of a flight video with it. But this was the unboxing and what a great looking helicopter this is. It looks perfectly weighted, looks very nice. The rotor blades, very nice and smooth. So can't wait to get this flying. Well, uh, tomorrow it's supposed to be maybe between 7 and 10 mile per hour winds. So I hope I can get this outside tomorrow and give you guys a flight video. So this is the Blade SR just like the micro SR, a little bigger though, and it's a collective pitch. So keep a look out for this and I'll have plate videos soon.